So, another leaked benchmarks, and today's video, press on that like button before we get into it, please, that helps me out a ton, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind, we're back baby. Today's vid is about the Intel Core i5-12400, the next gen older lake Intel CPUs, I wasn't any hyped about them at all the last time I made a video about them, but maybe they're good, maybe there's something, we don't know yet, but hey, we found some leaked benchmarks with the i5-12400, which is set to be priced at around $200, and the benchmarks, the leaked benchmarks of course taken with a grain of salt because everybody says that for some reason if i haven't said that i get a lot of dislikes so please press on that like button that helps me out a ton really the leaked benchmarks are pretty promising it has a clock speed of 4.0 gigahertz and on single core is 4.4 gigahertz and the chip tested is a qs virgin which is an engineering sample and this engineering sample is pretty close from retail in terms of performance so yeah we might see improvement but not that big of an improvement it's most likely tested on the B660 a motherboard. Now keep in mind the Intel Older Lake CPUs will support DDR4 and DDR5 RAM, which is crazy, but B660 motherboards only supports DDR4 RAM. So in order to take a full advantage of DDR5 RAM, you have to get a Z690, maybe Z670, I don't know what the next model is. Anyways, the performance compared to the Ryzen 5 5600X, which is a $270 CPU when it goes on sale is for around the same basically but the 12400 actually beats it in single core and a multi-core is pretty much the same you know with some slight overclocking of the 5600x we find same performance basically it's actually pretty promising for 200 bucks i mean we finally are getting a good cpu on the budget territory because there isn't anything right now other than the i3 10100 which is like for 100 bucks which is far from what we're talking about right now in terms of the budget world and the i5 10400 that's pretty outdated the 11400 isn't even in stock as far as i know so if it actually came with the same price tag of 200 bucks or maybe i don't know 220 that's a great steal so i guess if you are gonna get a gaming pc right now with an 11400f if you didn't get it for a good deal don't pretty much unless you actually find it for a good deal like i just found an i5 11400 for 165 bucks i was like you know i'm a go on that it's a pretty cool i don't know about the cooler yet hopefully we might see some upgrades on the cooler sides but who knows maybe it will not come with a cooler anyways and uh, that's a six core 12 threaded cpu in case you don't know and the temperature seems to be okay so i mean it's not that it doesn't look like you know it's one of these hot cpus you know and surprisingly uh, from my use of the 5600x i don't know if i haven't applied the thermal paste the right way but i reapplied it and the degrees are actually pretty high like 70s why i don't know maybe because it's the last gen am4 cpus even though there is some bit of news that we might see uh just the last series of amd cpus on the am4 platform i believe something like the remember the ryzen 5 3600 xt that enthusiast grade cpus maybe that's the 5600 xt you know if you know what i'm saying hopefully we see budget cpus we don't really know but hey that's another topic for another time anyways i'm excited for the i5 12400 do i think it will be for retail 200 bucks maybe the first two hours <laughs> i don't know but then it will be like for 250 260 but uh would i not recommend the ryzen 5 5600x absolutely not i really think this cpu is still one of the best cpus but but if this 12400 came for retail damn this is gonna be good for a lot of pc builders out there so that's been it for today's video press on that like button if you would like this quick news to subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind and i'm out really i'm out yeah peace